Hello, today I would like to share the uh, topic about TypeScript with um, prom uh, promise return type. Today it will be a little bit higher in volume. In my volume, it will be a little bit higher because I got some feedback from the from my college that my voice is a little bit uh, low compared to other video in the YouTube so today I add some additional what does it call it is uh, it like volume increasing volume increaser volume expander something like that that will increase my voice a little bit Maybe about five decibel. Okay, today let's go to what I would like to share here. Um, as you can see here, I have an XR that is not actually XR. It is just the mocking XR that I use, and I will use to demonstrate here. And next is some API function which is called XGR here and have a then block here which is just return a simple string and here is the main function that use the some API function here Ooh. okay as a await and a thing here so the response as you can see here is will be uh, string type because TypeScript is smart enough to know that the promise here from XGR will finally return a string type if you hover here you see that some API is the function that return the promise which is has a string in the in this type parameter here and after you use a wait, the result here for the response variable here will be a string. It sounds good, right? Okay, and here is the issue. If we try to cache this some API function, and you can see that response is now string. It's still good. But if you try to call a function, uh, uh, if you try to add a function here, for example, you try to lock the error object here, you see that the response now changes its type become string or void. And here is the problem. If you try to use this, this response in some auto function, for example, you use the console function here and the console function use respond as a string. And you can see that here is the error occur here because we we send the respond as a string and add a string of void type and this is not acceptable for the console function they only accept response as a string only so what we can do we can use the never type here so that we will tell the cache bug here is it will not happen this is not what we expect to happen for the response here so it will become a string and the array is gone that is this is the first issue here and the next is the promise r i will try to use um, try to create a promise r here and 
So post that as a uh, cleaner coding here. We create another variable which is include the series include the is this an array that include multiple promise function here. Okay, right now this is the okay. This is the result here is the array of string which is true, right? And what if we create another API which is return number here? Oh, the error occurred here. And if we look at this response, the tie is to become something that is, is wrong. Okay. It is, um, I don't know, it's maybe a bug or something that hard to tell. But what we can solve. Here is as simple as that. It's so simple. We just add the promise function array directly, and the result here, string and number, is correct now. But what if we really would like to use? We would like to send the promise array like this as a variable we can do it we can fix the type by add the type in this in the promise or parameter here so we can add is like it and oh okay it's still error here so we add this type we add the type the promise array type as any so the problem gone and the result is what we expect here as a response string and number we add the type here string and number so if you would like to add some cache here and it's made return war this one here oh oh nothing wow oh because we already explicit at the type here so it will be number but if you look at here, it will be number and y, number or y. So maybe you cannot. You just not need to add the never type here, but it will be okay if you still add it here. Okay, that's it. This is this is this is what about the promise and the return type that I found is maybe useful. Thank you for watching. Hope this can help you in some way. Bye bye.